Coming live from the space city we call Houston, Texas, Space Boy Music, and here is Space Boy. Good evening, everyone. It is Space Boy Music time. It is, um, I guess, June the 8th, 2016, and of course, tonight is music. So welcome to the show, and if you want to follow us, you can do so by going to either spaceboymusic.com or spaceboyuniverse.com, and at the top of each website, you'll see the Spreaker banner with the music playing and all that good stuff. You can click the chat if you want to chat along while you jam to music. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty explanatory show. I mean, we play a lot of music from my Space Boy vault, and uh, occasionally we'll chime in, Serlana and myself. Say hello, Serlana. Hello, Serlana. And um, we'll, uh, you know, talk a little bit and then kick some more music off as we uh, think of it as Space Boy Universe, but uh, with more music. So if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can do so at Space Boy Music, or if you want to just, you know, chat to Serlana because everybody loves Serlana. You can do that at S-U-R-L-A-N-A. I'm sure she would like to, for you to follow her. Uh, she's looking for a big fan base and maybe someone... Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, so accommodate her by doing that. Um, you can also catch this show on demand like uh, the rest of the Space Boy Universe uh, productions we do on Spreaker, SoundCloud, YouTube, and iTunes. So without any further ado, I've been working on a song today that I just finished. Um, and I'm looking for it, and it um, and it is called "There Is Always Another Day." So let me play this, and we'll go from there.
So there you go. There's always something. There's always a new day is what it's called. And it'll be on the next Space Boy, Uni- uh, Space Boy Universe album. The next Space Boy <laughs> music album uh, entitled Unique Technique. Uh, Sir Lonnie, you had a chance to kind of listen to it today. What'd you think? I know where you're going with that. You're about to say there's <laughs> always something there to remind me, <laughs> which is funny or not, because this song you just played, your song, has a, a little bit of flair of the uh, like an 80s retro vibe now. Mm-hmm. And I mean this in a good way because I enjoyed MIDI music. There mm-hmm. was a time before, right before MP3s hit in the late 90s before anybody knew what they were and they were downloading them illegally I was starved for music free music let's put it that way and uh, midis were a dime a dozen and some of them were really well produced you know with multiple channels and you mm-hmm. know, layers and it, it harkens back to that I'm sure but your production values and sounds are of course way better but it it makes me think of something I enjoyed right and I think uh <clears throat> you know, with things how they've been lately, it's just I was looking to write something. I don't want to say remorseful, but uh, something m- kind of hopeful and thinking back to a time because there is a lot of that sound of the '80s in that song. Um, whether it be some of the instruments, like the bells we hear, um, is very '80s, and um, mm-hmm. the chord progression would be similar in an 80s Did you passion ever mess with just midi back in the oh, day oh yeah i mean i would just write things i would write things in midi and then i would import it into whatever software i was working on at the time um so yeah i was very familiar with that and then i got into another program called acid which i basically could take loops or what i would do is um say there was a part i needed to do i would record the loop and then export it to wave and then put it into acid and then you know Put, I did put something, my loops. excuse me, I did something <clears throat> similar where I had this, you know, just low-end bookshelf stereo thing, and it had the CD changer at the top mm-hmm. and dual uh, cassette decks and radio, and it had an auxiliary mm-hmm. channel. So um, with my sound card, I had a little better than average sound card at one point. I was able to take a line out from the sound card into the auxiliary channel to the stereo and I could play the MIDI in like uh, like Winamp or something mm-hmm. and record it onto a cassette tape. And you know, I was really impressed with myself back in that day. <laughs> well, I have another song that's kind of um, an experimental song. I don't have a title for it yet, but it, it definitely is reminiscent of my first early stuff. Um, right now, it's only labeled 082001. So, you know, it's got that rock sound, but it definitely has a, an electronic feel to it. So, here it goes. If And if anybody's listening, thinks of a name for the song, I might consider using that name. So, um, anybody in Spreaker chat, um, let me know. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it looks like uh, K28 gets the square for the win. Uh, I think I'm going to name this song Unintendo. So congratulations, K28. You've now officially named two of my songs, and that's two more than anybody else has done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, what? Okay, my bad. You have to catch up with Serlana. I know she's probably uh, ma- n- named a few more songs than you do. And that doesn't count the ones that... I thought up were brilliant and then forgot what they were and didn't tell you. Yes, exactly. So next up, I have a song called Space Boy. Uh, go figure. I would name a song after me. So it goes something like this. Can you hear me?
That is Stand and Fight from my digital album, uh, my most recent album. And um, so, yeah, it's uh, kind of a trend uh, with going into this next album. Uh, I'm using more guitars, and um, and it's basically live guitars versus, versus virtual guitars that I've used in some of my productions just to kind of help me along with some of the, uh, you know, to produce the song a little bit quicker. But I'm taking a little bit more time in uh, with guitars, actual guitars, because um, Sir Lana has pretty much uh, hel- held a bat to my head if I don't use more real guitars. It's kind of like uh, she's well, saying, I need more cowbell. You, why do you have six guitars? <laughs> I mean, are well, they like trophies? Like, look what I bought, and they, we'll never touch again. They I mean, look, they look pretty. They, they are pretty, but I mean, is, you're going to spend that money for an art piece? Well, one of them I did, but um, I digress. No, but you're actually yeah. using that. No, no, no. no. Yeah. The the red one, the first red one, the uh, Eastwood, the red one. It's in fact um, David Bowie uses one similar to that, but it's black. Uh, in his, uh, I guess it was his reality tour. 
Um, but yeah, it, it's a nice guitar, but, um, but I've got some other guitars, but now the one I'm using is the Parker Fly, and it's wonderful because the neck is kind of small for my, my big stubby fingers, <laughs> and, um, and so it, it's very easy to play. I, I probably I'm due to restrain it too, so I yeah. need to get some strings on it. Will you ever do any acoustic guitar? Um, What's wrong with your acoustic? Is it broken? Well, there's a part of it that's broken. It, there is a part that's broken on it, and so I need to look into possibly getting it repaired. You could take it back to GC, can't you? I could. I mean, yeah, if I wanted to do that, and well, uh, let's look into that at some point. Yeah, we will. So I have another song here lined up, and. I guess taking it back to the shop will give me peace of mind g with getting it fixed. So here's the next song called Peace of Mind. <laughs>
I don't know about you, Sirlana, but uh, you know, playing this music, it makes it uh, a little bit more fun to watch the people in the chat session. And uh, K28 is. You mean K28? Yeah, well, I mean, he, he you know, uh, <laughs> um, there's always something funny to, to, you know, that comes up, you know, especially sometimes it's usually at my expense, but. Um, yes, it's always good stuff to um, see what's going on in the chat. I don't have a clue what's going on, but it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. So with that note, I'm going to play a, another Space Boy song called Electronica Communications from the s- same album that it's titled. <laughs>
Short and sweet was that one. Uh, basically, that song is called Space Matters. It's not on anything. It's just a, kind of a short little lick that I put together, um, and I thought I'd throw it on the show to see how it worked. So how are we doing over there, Solana? I've got a cookie. The cookies are always good. Cookies make me feel good. And boy, were they delicious today, at least the ones I had. Mm. But uh, this next song goes to Solana, and it is called Love You Too Much. Yeah, that is, uh, if it's not obvious, the song is called Love You Too Much, and it, it is definitely one of my older songs that I wrote in early 2000. Um, and so, yeah, it goes back, and thanks uh, for liking the song, Bev. We appreciate that. 
Uh, next up, we're going to go with uh, a more recent uh, song from, I believe it was on, wow, I can't even remember. I know it's recent. It's called Dark Science. Let's just do this and play it. So that is Dark Science from the digital album. Uh, it took, uh, you know, I had a little brain fart before the song and I couldn't remember, but yeah, it is from digital. Yeah, <laughs> laugh it up. So yeah, I, I wrote the song for a podcast. So somebody had approached me to do music for their podcast and, you know, it, it was kind of a fringy type uh, uh, podcast and I thought, well, this would probably be good for that kind of cast. and. And of course, they said, "No, it's not quite what I'm looking for." And so, their loss, their loss, my gain, your gain. I would never speak to them again. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I didn't take it personally, um, but uh, yeah. So yeah, Dark Science. It's on the digital album. You can get digital uh, directly from the Space Boy Music site. Just go to the shop, and for only ten dollars, uh, it makes a great gift for Grandma. Always. Yes, always. Your grandma's got good taste. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. So the next song is another cut from digital called The Vision, and it goes like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, the last song of the show is called Requiem. It is a kind of a slower song, and it goes like this. That's Requiem, and on that note, I'm going to play the playout music. You've been a wonderful audience, and tune in next time when we'll be Space Boy Universe tomorrow with the uh, host. Uh, well, we're going to have guest host Jim Mars will be, not Jim Mars, Jim Malliard will be our guest tomorrow on Space Boy Universe Live. Okay. Say good night, Serlana. Good night, Serlana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-